Mozart, Van Gogh, Hemingway, and Little Lux, the luxurious bastard. What do all four of those have in common? I'll tell you. They're all geniuses, and they're all a little bit crazy. Now, I don't know Dave from the Luxurious Bastard other than um, social media. Uh, this review isn't sponsored, isn't paid for. Uh, I paid for these products myself. But if there is one thing I could tell you in the beard game, it's that Dave puts his heart and soul into his products. The quality is amazing, and the scents are outrageous. So let's take a minute and talk about the Luxurious Bastard. All right, guys, it's your boy Mike here from the Sophisticated Neanderthal channel. If it's your first time here, I appreciate you stopping by. If this is your second, third, fourth, or your subscriber, I appreciate you. Thanks for coming back. So I want to talk today about the luxurious bastard. Now, if you're watching this and you've had a beard for a while, you probably know the luxurious bastard and you've probably used some of his products before. I want to talk really quickly about... Um, the care and love that goes into the creation of these products before I talk about them specifically. So one of the great things about the Luxurious Bastard is, and if you uh, follow uh, Dave, uh, the owner and creator and the mad scientist be behind the Luxurious Bastard on Instagram, you know that he puts all of his spare time into this company and these products. The quality is great. As we talk about them, what I'll do is I'll put down in the description uh, the ingredients. Um, but I want to talk, first of all, about why I call Dave from the Luxurious Bastard the Mad Scientist. And, and I can really sum it up by talking about two of his products, which are probably my two favorite scents. Uh, the first scent uh, that is my number one all-time beard product scent, without a doubt, is the Tobacconist. Um, this scent is just so good. It, it is a little bit of uh, dry Cuban cigar leaf mixed with some aromatic pipe tobacco. And it's not smoky. If you, if you like smoky, the Smoky Bastard is amazing. Uh, I think I have, uh, I've got the Smokey here somewhere. Um, actually, it's behind my computer. Um, but when you juxtapose how good Dave's scent, like the tobacconist is, and then he can also create a scent like the Sweet Bastard, which is, uh, it, it's, it's like you're sitting at a table and you're mashing up lemons and limes and grapefruits and just gives a great scent. I mean, these scents couldn't be more different, but yet he nails both of them. Um, so, you know, if you're looking for complex and uh, amazing scents, the Luxurious Bastard is uh, hard to beat, if not unbeatable. The other thing that's really great about the Luxurious Bastard is he has what on his website, uh, luxuriousbastardco.com, the Luxurious Labs, where he will literally make you a custom batch of whatever you want. You put it in there, and I guarantee you he'll make it. Now, he does say in there that uh, if you want a custom batch of something, kind of give him a heads up, either like a DM on Instagram or shoot him an email, and just to make sure it's something he can do. But I'd imagine if I asked him to make a scent that smelled like hot dog water from Nathan's at Coney Island, that... I would probably get something that smells exactly like hot dog water at Nathan's at Coney Island, and it would have a little bit of the luxurious bastard spin on it. Um, it's crazy. It, it's amazing what Dave is doing. Now, you know, just to make sure y'all understand, and uh, you know, I've said this before, I, 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 don't, I don't know Dave other than through social media. Um, these products are products I bought for myself to use, and he didn't send them to me. This isn't a paid review. But I wanted to do this full review because this is one of the products that um, I can wholeheartedly support. So let's talk about the products in and of themselves really quickly. So um, Dave basically has oil, balm, and he just started doing butter. I haven't had a chance to try the butter yet. But let's talk about the oil first. 
uh, really nice uh, labeling there from Dave. Uh, quality uh, packaging, but as you know here, we care about the quality of the product. Um, the packaging is a bonus. So if we take a look at the oil here, it is a medium thick consistency. Um, just a really nice, not overly heavy, not overly light. Ah, that scent though, uh, the tobacconist is my favorite. You can see it there on my hand. I already have product in my beard uh, this morning, so I'm not gonna put it in, but I wanna show you what it looks like. Um, it's just a really, really good um, oil, highest quality. Like I said in the description below, I'll put down the ingredients, but I did wanna talk really quickly about one of the ingredients that Dave puts in, in his oils that we don't see a lot. There are some other products that have it, and that is rice bran oil. And I wanna, I wanna particularly bring up rice bran oil because it has several uh, benefits uh, along with the other oils. So rice bran oil uh, is extremely high in vitamin E, and it's also uh, high in gamma um, arasinol. Now, gamma arasinol comes from the rice bran itself, and when it comes out in the oil, it is one of the oils that is extremely high in antioxidants. So in addition to those other great oils that you'll see listed down below, the inclusion of the rice bran oil really uh, ups the game for the luxurious bastard oils. Um, the, uh, the rice bran oil is so good as an antioxidant. It, it conditions extremely well and just a great addition that Dave puts in his oils. Uh, and, and then he also has, of course, his balms. And I want to talk quickly about the balms. Again, the ingredients are linked down below. I want to try to keep these videos to under 10, 15 minutes. Some of my videos can go on too long. Um, and one of the things that you'll find with Dave's balms are that they are some of the best hold balms in the business. Very, very uh, thick, very, um, very good at hold. In fact, I'll show you here, uh, it takes a little effort and a couple of scrapes to get the balm out onto the thumb. Now, the great thing is though, it emulsifies well in the hand. Now, you'll, you'll be able to tell a little difference between this and, and medium hold balms because you, you'll feel a little friction in there with the balm, uh, but once you emulsify it, put it in the beard style, your beard, once that balm, uh, soaks in and uh, I don't want to use the word dries but firms up it will give you a great hold that will last you all day long in fact uh, I use the I always use luxurious bastard balms uh, for business for example if I've got if I'm going to be out of the uh, office all day for example if I have a trial and I'm going to be in court all day I always use the luxurious bastard balms because I know it's going to give me that really good hold all day I also always use um, Luxurious Bastard Balms when I'm going to go out and play golf, um, especially if it's going to be rainy or windy because it's going to keep my beard from blowing around and my mustache from getting down in my mouth. And uh, just really, really quality products. It's interesting because I think, I think it was last night there was a, a four-way live stream um, with uh, Dave from Luxurious Bastard, Dan C. Bearded, Beer Times with Scott and Matt from no, S no BS Beard Reviews. And one of the things that Matt said was that when he goes on business trips, he takes one product with him, and that is the 1912 uh, Bastard Balm and Oil. And it's so funny because I'm the same way. That's all I take with me because it's a scent that is amazing. It's not going to offend anybody. It's a business-friendly scent. I know that may sound funny, but it is. And of course, the oil and the balm will get you through uh, any day without any, any problems. So if you go to LuxuriousBastardCo.com and you look at Dave's website, you'll see that he does a lot of special things. Uh, a lot of times you'll go there and some of his scents will be sold out. And the reason they're sold out is because they're that good. He, he can put a, a, a new batch of a scent online and it'll be gone in 30 minutes. And one of the great things about Dave is he does everything by himself. He does everything by hand. And just to give you an idea, um, for example, my favorite, the tobacconist here. On the back of each balm, he puts down what batch and what can 
It is. So for example, this is batch 53, can 66 of 67. So, I mean, it doesn't get more personalized than that. It doesn't get any more hands-on than that. And I don't think you find any more personal care in, in, in a product from a manufacturer as Dave does with these. And it's a good thing. I was 66 of 67. I almost missed out on re reordering the tobacconist. Another thing I like about the Luxurious Bastard is, is that Dave is extremely active in the bearded community, especially on social media. Uh, if you follow the Luxurious Bastard on Instagram, he's always engaging with us. Um, he's always letting us know what he's up to. He's always doing scents for times of year. For example, uh, he, you know, he has a fall scent. He's got a Christmas scent. Um, he does limited runs where he's just experimenting. Again, the mad scientist experimenting on different scents, and then he'll put those up for sale uh, on his Luxurious Labs site on his, uh, or page on his website, and you can find some really good stuff there. In fact, um, he uh, recently released uh, uh, limited quantities of things that he had done for people who had had custom orders, and one of them was a champagne scent, and unfortunately I didn't get there quick enough. I wanted to get that one to see what it, what it smelled like because I can imagine it would be awesome. Um, in any event, I wanted to make a short video. I wanted to talk about the Luxurious Bastard because it is a great product, uh, both the oil and the balm. Um, oh, one of the other things I wanted to talk about really quickly with the balm is that it's, it, like I said, it's very firm. It's very firm. So um, if Dave watches this, Dave, comment down below if this is okay. But what I do is, to make the balm a little easier to get out and to apply, um, I'll hit it with the hair dryer on medium heat for about 30 seconds and it doesn't liquefy it. It just loosens it up a little bit and then I put it in the beard and then as it gets back to the room temperature, man, that hold really kicks in. So Dave, if you see this, let me know if it's all right if I do that. And if, 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 it, if it harms the balm, I can't imagine it would, but if it does, let me know and I'll stop doing it. Um, listen guys, I appreciate you watching this one. I, I highly suggest you check it, check out the Luxurious Bastard if you haven't already. Um, I can't say enough. I can't say enough good things. Obviously, I give this two thumbs up. I said it on Instagram. If I had three thumbs, I would give it three thumbs up. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, let me know uh, down in the comments. Uh, hit the like. Hit the subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, I'd love to have you here. Um, follow me over on Instagram, the sophisticated Neanderthal. I appreciate you stopping by, and always, we'll see you in the next one.